Hey everyone, it's a beautiful day here at the park. I just finished running, so it's the perfect time to get some stretching done. It's super warm. I'm in the shade, so I won't get too overheated. And uh, today I'm going to show you the seven stretches that I do pretty much every single day. Hopefully it's summer and good weather where you are. If it's the case, find yourself a space outside, ideally with some steps, which will be very useful for our stretches. So before I start any stretches, I just want to show you that right after a run, I'm pretty stiff. And uh, if I try to reach, uh, this is pretty much where I am. So we'll see how I improve after those stretches. The first exercise will be targeting at our hip flexors. So to begin, place one foot on the step and move your hip forward as you're trying to bring the thigh to the heel. You should already feel a stretch in the hip flexor of the leg that's on the ground. To deepen the stretch, drop your standing leg by bending your knee. The lower you go, the more you'll feel the stretch. Then you can hold this posture for a minute or two, alternating between different levels of intensity by lowering and elevating your knee. This is the first stretch of this series of exercise. So let's set the tone right. This series is supposed to be very gentle and intuitive. Some of these exercises might be uncomfortable, but nothing should be hurting intensely. It's really important to remember to be gentle to yourself and not to overstretch. Once we're done with one side, we just repeat the same thing for the other side. I discovered some of the variations of this exercise by simply moving my body around when I'm stretching. So this is what I mean by intuitive. You don't have to follow every posture strictly by the book. You can move around a little bit during your stretching and kind of just stretch the areas that feels tight to you on that given day. So here, as I'm doing the hip flexor stretch, I'm simply pulling my knee to the outside and opening up my hips. And then I do the same thing on the other side. Starting from the same posture as the first stretch, where we have one leg on the step, simply shift the weight backwards so you're straightening the leg. You can use your hands to pull your body closer to your thigh. And then we'll repeat the same thing on the other side. I usually do this stretch for about two to three minutes on each side. Again, the point is to be very flexible with these routines. Some days it feels tighter, so I do a little longer, and other days I'm running out of time, so I do it a little shorter. It all depends, and it doesn't really matter in the end of the day. As long as you're doing it, and it feels good to your body, then you're doing the right thing. All right, I just moved the location slightly because there were a lot of construction going on where I was. You probably saw the trucks and stuff moving. So it's just a little quieter here, but there's a lot of wind. Um, so find yourself some steps again, or a bench, uh, a chair would do as well. And this one would be an ankle stretch. For this stretch, you want to stand on the ball of your feet at the edge of the step so you can let your heel drop. Start pressing our heel down towards the ground. And to deepen the stretch, we can bend the knee on the same side. When we bend the knee, we'll try to point the knee towards the toe. I'll do a couple more of these so you can follow along. The fourth stretch I'm going to show you are different variations of a lunge. We'll start with a simple lunge position. But instead of having the back leg sitting at 90 degrees, we want to push it more backwards. And this will be the basis of this lunge position. From here, there are a few different options that we have to stretch different muscle groups. So we can either stay in this position, which will help mostly stretch our hip flexors, or we can perform the modified lizard lunge by putting both of our hands inside of our leg and try to lower our body as much as possible. In addition to the hip flexors, this posture will also stretch our hips and our inner groins. 
From this posture, we can also easily stretch the hamstrings by simply shifting our hips backwards. Again, we can achieve some other variations by simply moving our upper body around and just loosening things up. I call this one the modified pigeon pose, but to be honest, I don't even know what it should be called. I came up with this one on my own by just playing around with different postures. Basically, you'll be sitting on the floor with both of your hips square on the ground. Both of your knees will be bent at approximately 90 degrees. Once you're in that position, you can either hold the posture or lean forward towards the front foot, trying to lower your body towards the thigh. This is a pretty difficult stretch for me, but it's really a great hip opener. This stretch usually takes me a little longer to complete because it takes a while for me to just get comfortable in that position. Once I'm done one side, I repeat the same thing on the other side. In total, it takes me anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes to complete the whole series. The elephant walk is probably my favorite stretch. It's very gentle and beginner friendly. We'll start by bending forward. Try to have your belly touching the thigh. If this is too much and your hands can't touch the ground, you can use a yoga block. Relax the head and neck. Then slowly stretch one leg at a time. You'll try to straighten one leg at a time. As soon as you feel the stretch, let go and stretch the other leg. You don't need to straighten the legs completely. All you have to do is to feel the pull and then switch sides, and your hips should move from side to side. When you're getting more comfortable in this position, you can also start rotating and reaching to the sides. Alright, the last one of this routine is focusing on improving that forward fold. In the following footage, you'll see that I'm combining a few different things. The first one I'm doing is keeping both the knees and the lower back straight. You're kind of creating this 90 degree angle with your body. I can definitely feel a strong pull in the back of my leg by doing this one. Another way of improving your forward fold is by keeping your lower back straight and putting your belly completely against your thigh. So you're kind of hugging yourself. Starting with the knees bent, what you're trying to do is straighten those knees without having to separate your belly from your leg. Finally, I learned this last hamstring stretch from Tom Merrick. So you're going to hold either your leg or your ankle from behind. And from this folded position, you're going to keep holding your ankles while straightening your knees. And then you just go back and forth between the semi-squatting position to straightening the knees. So you remember before I started this stretch, I can pretty much just touch my toes. So let's see how these little exercises did for me. Ooh. All right, not bad. I mean, I still have a long way to go definitely to reach a full forward fold, but I think if I continue to do this every day, I'll reach my goal one day. So this is it. This is my stretching routine. I hope you can give some of them a try and see if they do the trick for you as well. Like I said, I do them pretty much every single day because they really help me open up the hips and the back. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Happy stretching.